ladies and gentlemen, Los Moondogs. <laughs> <laughs> is that how you, is that how you say it? Los Moondogs? Uh, no, it, I think uh, it was just like a fun <clears throat> idea for the flyer. So I um, digged it, man. I I, yeah. I thought it was pretty good. Thank you. What made y'all go with like Los Moondogs there for on the posters? Just Spanish. I don't know. <laughs> just Spanish. <laughs> I know like three Spanish ones. <laughs> I don't. I, I I know the whole Mexican alphabet, Spanish alphabet. Oh. I guess is a better way to say it. But yeah, the only reason I know that was like that was how I passed passed Spanish class in the first place. You got extra credit if you learned. Oh, okay. Mm. It's basically okay. the same, except isn't there like in and then like in yay and then like. A B C D E F E H I K U T K L M N Y O P Q R S T U B L E W X Y Z. Good job, man. Thank you, thank you. I I probably butchered all that. It's been like seven, eight years ago, dude. Like whenever I took Spanish class, I thought, man, I was good. And I went to a Mexican restaurant, and I was like, I tried to speak too fast. (laughs) Well, man, like like they thought that I knew my stuff. They like really, really, yeah. Like I was talking to them, I'm like, and I was trying to like. Just show off a little bit. I was not that good. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, they start talking back to me. I'm like, nah, you you, you got to slow I down. Dylan and Jake do that a lot too. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it is. Like they they've been doing a lot of like Duolingo and uh, well, not now, but like at one point they were like just obsessed with Duolingo and trying to. Uh, like we go to Me Saint Philippe all the time. Plug yeah. the Me Saint Philippe, Andres. I love you, but. Uh, yeah, they just go in there and practice their Spanish on Andres. <laughs> Andres awesome. is a cool dude. Oh though, man. God, he's the like he's the nicest guy <laughs> in the entire world. Yeah, man. he helped uh, me and my wife out a lot. I can't even say what he done actually. But, uh, <laughs> oh, gosh. Andres, you're a good dude. Thank you for last year. <laughs> but uh, good good guy. So how are y'all boys doing? Doing great. Great, yeah, pretty good. Great. It, it, it's good to have y'all up here, man. I've been such a big fan of y'all's music. It, it, it's such a killer sound. Oh, and, and, and it sounds unlike anything that I've ever heard in this area. How did y'all like? Like, what? How would you even describe yourself? I, I was talking to my wife about y'all a few days ago, and I didn't even know like what genre to put you in or anything. It's kind of I don't know. What, what would y'all say? The main thing I try to think about is to not have any genre and always just play whatever sounds the coolest. So I don't try to, like, we only play country, we only play rock, we only play jazz, we only play pop, we only play, you know, I kind of, whatever, if the song sounds cool, I just try to write it, and then that's it, pretty much. And then Jay comes up with a lot of riffs, uh, Mark comes up with a lot of stuff, so it's just whatever. We don't have any set, it has to sound this way, I guess. Yeah, like, uh... I mean, Jay's talked about this a bunch, and, like, I've heard him say this on some of them, and, like, I, I don't know much about them. But what little bit I have heard, I'm like, yeah, that makes a lot of sense. He's like, yeah, I think Grateful Dead, but like with pop songs. Yeah. And then like Jay's been like the country Rolling Stones songs. Yeah. Country Rolling Stones. But also like like, we're sitting on like pop songs that like, like we were actually listening to them out in the parking lot just like from practices last yeah. night. Yeah. And man, like it's it, it's I, wild. I, I'm I'm pumped to hear it, man. I've liked everything that y'all have done so Thank far. You. Thank you. So Ever much. since uh, you sent me "Stars Above," oh man. I was like, man, that's I've never heard <laughs> yeah. anything like that. And just too like the 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 not give a attitude, you yeah, know, yeah, that yeah. you had that like you can kind of hear that sound. Like you you like you were saying earlier, like you don't care about how like what anybody else thinks. You just play what you think sounds good, and that sticks out in y'all's music. It's so good, man. Thank so you, good. thank you. As a lyricist, I always say, not to compare anyone to anybody, but just a point of reference, I always say Austin, as a as a lyricist, has this uh, cool Mick Jagger irreverent wit thing going on. Mm, very, I, I, very, I don't, I don't agree. <laughs> that, I feel like I can say this because I'm the most distanced Mick from Jagger's it. Jagger's the coolest human ever lived, uh, so that's not true. I would say... Uh, he has the enthusiasm of outlaw country that everybody around here is trying to do, and he does it not trying to. He's just that enthusiastic, and like that's just him. I, I like, hmm. like, I mean, yeah. really, like, I, I, it's I, like I, everybody's trying really hard to have that attitude, and he's just got it. <laughs> well, you can tell that it comes off natural. Like y'all were telling about, like, you just play what you think sounds good, and hmm. just to the album art and everything. I mean, like it's you've got a good strategy thing going. I, I, I don't know. 
I don't know how to explain it. It's really early, too. And I haven't had enough of my crack in the cup. <laughs> right. Shout out to Bears. I've had two cups already, yeah. <laughs> it's hard for me to wake up sometimes, man. How, where'd y'all get the name Moondogs from? Um, Our drummer, Cody. He wrote down literally a thing of, what, 50 names. We Dude. went through everything. And then that was it. It's a it's an old wrestling tag team uh, in the seventies and eighties, like up in the New York territories. And then uh, there's been other, I mean, just being honest, there's other bands named the Moon Dogs. But I mean, until uh, there's lawyers involved, I guess. For the <laughs> <laughs> that, that had something to do with the Los Moon Dogs as well. It did. It? That's true. Yeah, yeah Los mm-hmm. Moon Dogs and uh, kind of differentiate. Yeah, that. But, but it's not said. You know, Moon Dogs, the Moon Dogs, yeah. La Moon Dog. It don't matter. Los. But but what like what made y'all think the Moon Dogs sounded good though? What you think? What, what made you think like that fit? As soon as I seen it, I just said that's the name, and then that was it. Mm. I, I, sometimes you got to listen to that little voice in your head. I think yeah. it can speak in the right direction. What you just said is that's the key to life, though. You I don't know. just listen. Yeah, yeah. 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 You you know you know. I oh, think Alan listening. Watts said you can spend three days thinking about something to make a split second decision no matter if you wow. think about it for three days as soon as you make the decision you're like oh i've figured out all this stuff well not really because you're only in the moment and then you make that decision right there so mm. if that makes any sense like i, I love know. alan watts man oh, not a lot of people know about alan but, <laughs> but anyways yeah what a good quote man I, ne- I never heard that yeah yeah so yeah smart dude Man, and the, so like, whenever uh, coming to y'all's music, have, are y'all working on an album or anything right now? We don't do albums anymore, just because, from my experience, like the music as far as selling it or trying to do something like that isn't really worth as much anymore. So we pretty much just do singles and put out the music for free. You guys can get on Spotify, YouTube, literally anywhere music's at. Just type in the Moon Dogs. Our Facebook has plenty of links to it. Uh, we got Instagram too that has links to it. But um, no, we're just putting out singles because basically we're just trying to get people out to shows. That's kind of yeah. our strategy. You know, I don't know if the music – is worth what it was back in the day. It's just so easy, you know, and yeah, even well, if you charge for it, how many people is going to pay you 99 cents? And then yeah. even the people that like it, it's just going to steal it. It's just going to take it anyway, so. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like we've had this conversation many a time yeah. recording with John, like, uh, what the strategy was, like, you take a band like Zeppelin or something, it's like, all right, yeah, we're touring to promote Led Zeppelin 4. Right. <laughs> Versus, like, nowadays it would be like, all right, we're playing a show and we're using our music to promote the show. Right, we're yeah. using, we're trying, yeah. exactly, exactly. You're trying to use the music to promote getting people out there instead of trying to promote to make $15 off an album, which, I mean, if so, people can do that, that's awesome. I just don't think that's realistic anymore, just in my opinion. So, Well, well yeah, you, you've got a point, and it's so unfortunate, too, you know? Like, it is. Yeah. Because back in the day, I mean, looking at those albums on the wall behind y'all, you know I mean? Like, there's so many of those same albums that... I listened to front to back, and, and yeah. it, it was an experience. You know, it wasn't yeah. just listen to the hit or two that came off of it. I mean, artists really cared about their albums back in the day. They each song had its purpose, one hundred percent. Spot, especially That's true. Yeah, especially like with a band like Pink Floyd or the Beatles, Sgt. Pepper, and all, what what do they call those albums? Uh, comp- the concept album, yeah, concept album. Yeah, I mean, like it was just it, it was more of an experience. Yeah. And nowadays, I, I just don't think the kids are ever going to get that no. with albums anymore. It's just yeah. oh, the the hit for ninety nine cents, and no, who cares sure. about the other twelve songs? For sure, for sure, one hundred percent. We, can, I mean, I guess you could arrange it in albums and say that like we those seven songs that we re recorded. We could have put it out on an album and called it an album, but I see what you're 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 saying, like putting it like having everything flow. In. I mean, maybe one day, maybe yeah. one day. I don't, I don't know. Well, I, well, yeah. well, like you said, man, it's like a lot of people, especially the younger generation growing oh, up, damn. they don't care. Yeah. They don't. They, they just don't care. They don't honestly. even know. Van, they don't know who. Yeah, I, I mean, mean some people is like Led Zeppelin, like <laughs> listen, to, uh, like hear like uh, Cream and be like, man, that's an awesome Led Zeppelin song. Yes. Don't, 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 don't. Yeah. I'm like, yeah. Okay. And back then, man, I mean, it's like. It was a whole ritual. You get the album out, you put it on, you have to go through the whole thing to even listen to it, and then while you're listening to it, you're reading the liner notes. Yeah. Uh, yeah the whole uh, looking at the art. Just taking in the whole package. Yeah. yeah. 
Yeah, one hundred percent. Yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, there's this. Uh, see, I love vinyl records. Yeah. Love vinyl. And uh, every <clears throat> once in a while, you'll have a newer artist that like does something cool. Uh, Wes Khalifa, of all people, he uh, came out with. He had this one album called uh, "Orange Juice and Something Else." But yeah, uh, know, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but but uh, I loved that album as a kid, so I bought it. Uh, I think it was Walmart had it. They had the actual like vinyl record. Walmart, it, it's uh, crazy that Walmart has vinyls now. And, and that. apparently, vinyl is outselling uh, CDs. Yeah, sure. yeah, it's, yeah, it's the most uh, popular physical format. Yeah, yeah, for, and, yeah, and, and, and it's held like, that spot for a couple of years, I believe. Yeah, I was about to say that. Like ever since 2017, 18, every year continuously, vinyl has been the number one seller. Yeah, man. But I got like the, it was the 10th anniversary of that album, and like you, like you open it up, and like whenever it opens up, you know, like how you open up a orange juice box and like it, the thing will pop out on the yeah. side of your drink yeah, like a, that's what the, happens whenever you open up the album oh, and there's there's all oh, types cool. of other like neat little right tricks like, it, awesome. it, it, it came in a sandwich bag you know that the album itself oh, did man. so I, was, I mean like just the, the thought you know yeah. that come that artists put into that it makes a, an actual music fan respect it you know no, for sure yeah, I mean that just I, yeah yeah, that'd be but, that but would just, be cool. Eventually, I mean, that, I mean, the reality is something that only sucks. But like, you're talking twenty bucks a pop, probably just to have that. Like, you so you got us. How much did you pay for? You know, thirty or yeah. forty bucks. So somebody like that could definitely, you know, whisk club. I mean, hell, that's the biggest act. Yeah, but in you, the world, you, you just yeah. like, but like, even I'd say his fans. You know, like even oh, yeah, just the younger generation don't appreciate all the time and effort. That was put into music back in the day, and maybe because like it's so easy nowadays, didn't, like a kid with a laptop can yeah, make a song. Yeah. Didn't Lady? I know this is going to sound hilarious. Didn't Lady Gaga put out like a, like a limited release, of, like a hundred thousand vinyls, and like each one was different for one of her albums? I think Probably. she. I think she. I'm just saying, all, all kinds yeah. of people do that now, yeah. and that's definitely really cool. Well, a lot of people do that, and honestly, that's kind of like a cost cutting thing too. And yeah. I didn't realize that for a long time. Like disc makers, like just looking on their website for vinyl, oh my. you can say, "All right, you can do black, or for the same price, you can do random colors, just leftover colors from other wow. vinyls that have already been printed, just, and then everyone's unique." That's, I, yeah. I didn't know that. But even then, man, like I mean, artists like Lady Gaga, that's the good ones nowadays. You know, I, like compared to all the other yeah. pop I just artists, they out of my leg. Sorry. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> <laughs> you good, man? <laughs> I gotta make sure that. Yeah. Can you pull the tick off your leg? <laughs> <laughs> have, you been, have you been on the golf course this morning already? Uh, I put, yeah, I did some pop practice this morning. You're on the golf course? Yeah, yeah that's another thing about this guy. Like, I, he, he will teach you anything about anything. Like, he, wrestling. Cigars, <laughs> golf. Uh, For the people that don't know, it's not <laughs> like, crazy. In the like he's on the coolest hobbies. Oh. You were golfing this morning? Yeah, I get up really early. What time do you start golfing? Um, if like if uh, uh like practice or like playing. Just like, what, what time do you start this morning? Uh, I'd say I got up at five thirty, and then I went to the Y. Uh, I only practice for like thirty minutes, so probably uh, what time is uh, seven thirty? I got out there. Okay, that ain't too bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If yeah. you go like right at sunrise, uh, the 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 moisture on the course, you can't really get good feedback from the mm. what the ball's gonna do. I'm sure people are very interested. In that. <laughs> <laughs> I love, I'm I, but I, I do love golf with so a uh, passion. Yes, I love. I haven't played like actual golf, but I played. Some, I played putt putt. I got yeah, like um, some mean putt. Yeah, oh yeah, that's a start, man. Putting's ninety percent of it. But it. It just seems like such a difficult sport, and I don't have the patience. Yeah, you know, like I'll see people sometimes like they miss the ball and then try to break it over their knee. That would yeah. be me. I just, yeah, man. I, I I don't got the patience for a sport like golf, but I bet it's so relaxing. Just being one out there good on the shot will take you back. Just one, if you luck into one great shot, it's like the best feeling in the world. It's like with anything, with basketball, music, there's certain people that are talented and can do it, and then the best are talented and you practice. So, like, Tiger Woods is the best because he was talented and then he practiced 10 hours a day. Or, like, Jim, like people's like, uh, I mean, I don't believe this. You might be... Man, Jimi Hendrix was just born. <laughs> okay, no, no, he I mean, practiced you know, 10 hours. You know, he played every day. Yeah, he pra- yeah, no, yeah. Not, not only played every day, I'm talking like he had to play 
constantly. Yeah. yeah. Like there, you're not going to tell me that Jimi Hendrix just like. Oh God, gay! No, no, I don't believe that. I mean, that's just. I mean, especially like just what is released of what he did in like three years. That's what I I mean. Like, like, I mean, like, like, imagine what isn't out. Well, well, there's, I, I don't know. There's probably not a lot that isn't out. His dad kind of exploited him for everything yeah. he had. Yeah. His sister. Yeah. <laughs> they're still mining it today. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, 50 imagine, years imagine, later. Imagine if he kept living. You know, I mean, yeah. how, what, what age did he die? 27. 27. Like, he died in 1970. Dude, I mean, imagine if he would have kept going. 71. Early no, 70. Was it 70? Okay. Late 70? Yeah, it was like September or October. They toured a little bit in 70 with that gypsy. Band of gypsies, yeah. yeah. But still, even then, he was only playing for like a few years. You know? Yeah. And to be that good in just a few years. Yeah, I that mean, like to think. Like, he got popular before our new experience came out. Like, well, he was over in... If you're talking about out with the Beatles and stuff before he even had music out, yeah, <laughs> this is kind of a different subject. But uh, I think for their age, man, Hank Williams uh, Senior, mm-hmm. go and look at the songs that he wrote in like three years, and then go back and be like, oh my god, he wrote this, 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 this. Uh, like uh, Hank Williams Senior, uh, I think he for the short amount of time wrote the craziest amount of hits ever. For like I, three for like three years. If you got you can pull it up on there, but I'm just saying, like, look at the songs that he wrote, and you're like, oh my god, dude, that's insane. <laughs> we only get a few of those people yeah. in yeah. life, you know. What I mean, and and they're and they're so special. I mean, like you have Jimmy, got Hank Williams, Janice, you know, like just people that are never going to be another one. Innovators, no, true, yes. innovators. Yeah, Kurt Cobain, dude. Yeah, Kurt I mean, Cobain I, is for sure. Kurt Cobain, you yeah. know. I, it's crazy he can play two chords and write the best songs ever. You know what I mean? Yeah, it, it really is crazy. Like Willie Nelson, you know, three chords and the truth. That's what yeah. he said. Yeah. That's all you needed out of a good song. And man, I, I just hope that this younger generation is blessed with some musicians that are that good. You know? It's going to reverse. People are tired of like hearing like everything made like on a computer, and like where it don't take any. I'm not saying it don't take talent. It definitely takes talent to write the lyrics and come up with the beats, but I'm just saying, like, to to really be able to know how to play guitar and take, like, that initial, like, five- or ten-year journey to, like, really understand how to play, I think kids are going to move more towards wanting that stuff mm-hmm. instead of, like, oh, I can get on my iPhone and go boom, boom, down, boom, 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 down, boom, 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 with my fingers and then make up something. And, yeah, mm-hmm. that's cool, but did that really take... If it's eight, it's like getting all the cheat codes on a game. If you go to Red Dead Redemption and you go and get all the cheat codes, it's fun for an hour because you. What's the point? Exactly. Yeah, man. What's the point? And like going back to artists back in the day, you know, like just reading about how they created some of the songs they did, it makes you respect it yeah. so much more. Oh, like yeah. like Alan Parsons, whenever he was producing all the Pink Floyd stuff, like Time, he went into an antique shop where a bunch of old clocks are and recorded them all individually. Right on. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, I mean, like the time and effort and planning that they used to do back then, especially for bands like Pink Floyd or Jimi Hendrix, you know, like the early psychedelic stuff. They didn't have all all these effects that people have nowadays. Jimi Page Page did insane stuff like that. Yeah, without any computer. You know, they were getting all these crazy effects and sounds without any computers. Just different types of machines, and you can only and do it pills. one time you, for yeah. that day. Yeah, a lot of that kind like, of stuff. You can't, like, you un- can't get that sound and go back a week later and be like, "Okay, w- turn on the button for the whole lot of love track." No, you got one day to go. Yeah, not relevant, kind of not. Uh, y'all know anything about the uh, what's her name? Uh, Tangerine Dream. It's like an old uh, electronic outfit from like the late sixties, seventies, uh-huh. somewhere in there. Uh, uh, you hear them because like they're on like old like massive walls and modular synths and stuff like this. Like they yeah. play for like like they, they'd be recording and they'd have to stop just because the synths would like heat up and go out of tune. Yeah. So they could only they could yeah. literally only do it for so long. No, and then, I've not heard of that. Yeah, yeah. like it, it. It just makes you respect it more, man. And, and the kids nowadays, like I'm glad in a way that music is so easy to create because a kid can buy a laptop with some good software nowadays and have opportunities that have never been 
had before. Like, like back in the day, you had to rely on a studio or somebody yeah. really knew what they were doing. Yeah. Or you get like one of those off. little garbage, like all in one, like recorders with the CD player built into See, the See, I'm kind of the opposite just because I wish it was kind of harder because it kind of makes it like you have to have like more effort. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and I can see that. And so you can too. literally listen to like, okay, like one band and a thousand other bands like have the same that's good in a way but it's bad because what happens when everybody that picks up an iphone puts on a song and then so everybody's a band you know everybody's a musician now and then you got to go yeah. through yeah, so yeah, i can't yeah. I, I see what people yeah, say about that and then i don't and like i know what you mean like oh you had to have connections back in the day and that's for you know yeah, yeah well so. I, and, and you know TV shows are ruined. Like TV show, like you, yeah. you're never gonna have hot behind a TV show because there's seven million TV shows out there, and nobody can get like a, this collective consciousness, but b- behind one, yeah, one. Uh, like I know this is a weird reference, but like Friends, Frasier, all these old, you know, stuff back in the '90s. Everybody collectively like came together to watch that at eight o'clock, and it's like the zeitgeist was all it's never going to be yeah. like that but now it, like yeah. just the market's so flooded yes. like like that it's success is like thing. instead yes. of having like 10 million people tune in to watch one episode yeah. of friends or that 70 show or yes. everybody listening to blank album or whatever yeah. it's like success yeah. is you get a half two a million, million people yeah, two million people you're listening the biggest to this show or more. watching this yeah. podcast yeah. or you know something yeah. like that yeah what we have well nowadays like y'all just said it's so flooded that it's easy for somebody to get lost in it. and and back in the day maybe that's why it was so good because you really had to try to get that that, is, that yeah. is why it was so good yeah, but yeah. and like everybody's like you thing. have to know who you know like okay so Led Zeppelin would not no. yeah I mean there's a few artists that fell into that category because not I, enough to matter yeah, well, yeah not, not enough to matter but there, there was a few and I, I can get where people say that but most of the time, you just had to be that good. Like somebody like Jimi Hendrix, yeah. Yeah. He, he, he wasn't handed that on a silver platter. Yeah. The dude got kicked out of the. Well, he he wasn't kicked out of the military. He was uh, discharged. I'll say that. <laughs> but uh, he he, I, he that dude was stealing cars as a kid, you know. But still went on to be one of the yeah. greatest guitarists of all time. Like, like you think anybody could have ever been Elvis besides Elvis? I do not. No, no. And, and there's never going to be another. There's never going to be another Elvis. There's never going to be another Beatles. I mean, they're they're like if the market wasn't the way it was nowadays, probably Justin Bieber. Like that would have been like this generation's yeah. Elvis. Right. Yeah, and he's still kind of. I mean, it, we're not plugged into that stuff and that type of thing. But the kid makes four hundred million dollars in a tour. Yeah. And sells yeah. out, you know, fifty thousand. Uh, I mean, that's pretty close. Yeah, he, he's the closest thing to like yeah. a Michael Jackson For that we sure. have yeah. nowadays. Because yeah. I mean, you have those kinds of those kinds of artists that are like, all right, yeah, we can get like Ariana Grande millions she and millions out. turning out. But like. Like for instance, like 2019, I went and watched the 1975. They were literally nominated for a Grammy. They had half of the arena closed down. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, the rock. Yeah, they don't even like, put the rock stuff on TV anymore. Yeah. No, but I, like, I won't even call them a rock band, really. But they they got nominated. Like they nominated like. Van Fleet. No, uh, the 1975. Oh. Yeah, that, that great Van Fleet. Ooh, they sound a little bit like Zeppelin. <laughs> Just a little bit. My favorite thing is in interviews when they ask them their influences, they name everybody but. Yeah, they're like, oh, they yeah, Aerosmith. Aerosmith. They said, like, wow. Aerosmith. They said, like, Aerosmith. Big ones was Aerosmith. Y'all don't say anything like Aerosmith. No. 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 Aerosmith was, like, pretty no. great, though. Yeah, it, it was. Right. And, like, Greta Van Fleet, like, they're a great band. Don't get me wrong. They have some really good songs. But, man, just own it. You know? Yeah. Like, yeah. Just go yeah. ahead and own it. We we know. You know? <laughs> right. It but, makes it seem inauthentic. Yeah. You know? Oh, and, and, like, I mean, if you want to say that, like, your biggest influence was Zeppelin and you love their sound, just own it. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. We'll still listen to it. We love Zeppelin. We it's cool to have a newer band that sounds yeah. similar. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, and I'd say there's a bunch of people out there that are Greta Van Fleet fans. I to say their name, but and don't know who Zeppelin yeah. is. Do you remember when Wolf Mother came out and everybody was like, they sound like Zeppelin and Sabbath, but yeah. they kind of, well, they uh, they broke up. But I think their first album dude was 
pretty awesome. Do you yeah. not? Did you not like it? Well, I, I I never dived like really deep into their catalog, but from yeah. the stuff that they I only did, have, I liked it. They only have one album as their original band. That's the second, easy. yeah, the second album's on Eight People. Yeah, I they had a song yeah. on the yeah. on the the baseball game. I played quite a bit on the MLB yeah, the show. I remember, Mother, I that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But no, their first album was the original lineup, and then after that, he got a bunch of bunch of new guys. But that first album was really good. Check it Wolf out. Mother. The first album. I'm trying to remember. Okay, Joker and the Thief. Woman. That's the one I was. Woman, you know you're woman. Yeah. You gotta be a woman. I got the feeling of love. I, I just hope. Well, I think that rock is going to be making a uh, comeback here shortly. Country, like outlaw country, is already made it kind yeah. of a comeback. It has. With, with some yeah. artists. Yeah. And I think that maybe the rock sound will be right after that. H- who knows? I just think like music, you know, comes and goes. It fluctuates. This yeah. genre will be popular at the time. Than this one for a few years. Yeah, man. Takes its turn. Another thing people don't realize too with movies and old uh, music, like a lot of times, ten years down the road, Led Zeppelin Four is the best album ever. A lot of times, Big Lebowski, ten years down the road, is the best movie ever. Oh, you're movie. you're yeah. never it just cut, like sometimes in the moment don't matter how many movies right now make six hundred million dollars and five years from now nobody even knows what the what the what yeah you know, like man. it's like the. Yeah, the ones that stick a lot of the time aren't in the public eye. Like, I mean, let's have like, one good example actually. Uh, yeah. Kanye, eight oh eight and heartbreaks. Two thousand eight, yeah. it drops, and everybody's like, "What is this? This sucks." Is and that then, like, now every yeah, yeah that's heartless, the one that had heartless yeah. on it and uh, street but, lights and all those. But now. Every new rapper is like, yo, 808s and Heartbreaks. That's, <laughs> that's the greatest yeah. album well, of all well, time. Well, well, nowadays, that's the sound that you hear on the radio. Yeah. That all that album and it was, was super ahead of its time. And then that, like yeah. at the time, everybody was like, what is this? Yeah, he, he had the, the shades that had like the window uh-huh. blinds oh. and stuff like that. Dude, that's so cool. <laughs> but, but, I, but he, dude, I, I'm a huge Kanye fan. He, oh, yeah. he was 10 years ahead of his time because nowadays, that's all you hear is auto-tune mm-hmm. and electronic beats. Yeah, and like, and like Jesus was way ahead of his time too man like well, i mean I've, I've just been getting into him pretty recently honestly i've been kind of late to the game there to, to me kanye uh, and uh kid cuddy they can do no wrong oh, I, love, I love both those guys i love but that's what see that's what i liked about y'all's music is i never heard anything like it that's what i love about people like oh, kanye or cuddy is, is like they're they're trendsetters you know like that they don't follow anybody else right they create their own and a lot of artists just don't seem to know how to do that nowadays or maybe they do and they're just Stick into what sells. <laughs> you know, or what at gets the start of the interview, you said uh, worrying about what other people think. That's why they sound like that. Yeah, exactly. You can't yeah. worry about. You need to do what you think sounds cool in your head, and then that's it. Yeah. They don't need to be anything past that. I know a lot of people that like they'll stick to like strictly only cover songs at shows because yeah. they know like that's what sells. And I'm like, you can't sell yourself short like that. I think that like, if you really stick to what's true in your heart and you really follow that, and if you're determined enough, that's what'll that's what's going to be good for you. And, and also, I mean, like people can get lost too. Like if you're trying, I was doing that earlier in my own career. Like I was trying to kind of like copy appeal. other people's styles, you know. Yeah. And like I kind of find myself like one day saying like I don't know who I am, you know, like the Man. person that I'm projecting myself as on stage. Even I don't know who it is. This is a totally fake person. And whenever I started being more real with my material and just doing what I thought was funny instead of what everybody else thought was funny. You got a better response. Started, yeah. Yeah, I had a much better response and I was more happier with my right. career. And I think that a lot of artists can find stuff like that. They just need to take that leap of faith and do it. And the thing yeah. about cover bands, man, I mean there's a place for all covers and all that, but I mean, from a personal standpoint, where is the reward from even picking yeah, up a name? Where's the satisfaction from, from you that? Know. Like, you get a little yeah. money. Where's but the... I can't tell you how many cover gigs I've left and been like, yeah. Not coming from that aspect of it, anymore. just from a practical standpoint. How much easier is it to play your own stuff than sit down and learn? Exactly. Like, yeah, it's literally true. exactly the amount of time. The only thing that is crazy to me is like the amount of time it takes to like learn money, or you're going to learn. Whatever song, yeah, <laughs> you know, yeah, yeah. Free Bird, you know? yeah. Yeah. yeah, just the amount of t- and, and those are kind of easier cover songs. Like I mean, I've seen people play like intricate, intricate cover songs, and I'm like, dude, that took two months <laughs> to figure yeah. out. 
all yeah. that exactly. stuff out. You know what I mean? So, well, uh, and, and you know, like to, to each his own. And like every once in a while, a cover is good. You yeah. know, like especially yeah. if you have your own twist. Like Tyler Childers, his uh, version of Time. Yeah, it's great, man. Yeah. I loved that cover. Yeah, but uh, and some people, you know, will butcher it. But I like, guess, <laughs> but but every once in a while, somebody does something cool. Like uh, I was watching a video one time, and somebody was at a Bob Dylan show. And they yelled, play Freebird, just like every drunk person does at any show. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and Bob Dylan and his band busted out Freebird. Oh, wow. Oh, it was man. so cool. I'm like, when else are you going to see Bob Dylan play Freebird? <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. crazy. Yeah, and so like, like those covers, I can get it. You know, that's what's going to get all of the clicks on YouTube. or yeah, right. yeah. But as far as just like your normal shows, like, if that's what you want to do, that's that's cool and all. But I know bands like that purposely play covers because they don't think that their yeah. solo stuff will sell, and it breaks my heart because I'm like, you're good enough. Yeah. Just stick yeah. to what it is that you play. Who cares about everybody? Yeah, else? and just do it. And if it doesn't do it, do. it doesn't do it. Yeah. I mean, you still have that it's plate like, or whatever with your music on it. Yeah, you I, I think it's also important too to like play for your crowd. What's the famous Ramon song? Um, the biggest oh. one I can probably think of is I Want to Be Sedated. Okay, yeah, like, yeah. who would have thought yeah. when they did that 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 would, like, sell a hundred million or however many it sold? Like, you know, I mean, like, like, like at the time, you know, was, like, what was there to compare that to? <laughs> I want a birthday. <laughs> it is one of those. Like like you were saying, like, with your, your stand-up, like, I can parallel me or image to that. Like, you take Pursuit of Happiness and it was like, ah, this is okay. Versus, like, we start, you know, doing, like, Prisoner and... Yeah, the new record and all this stuff, and everybody's like, "All right, yeah, I can get behind this," and it feels like way more genuine reaction. Yeah, right just, be, just from us, like just doing what we want to do. <laughs> I, I think that most people, especially in a uh, rural area like this, they can tell when you're fake. Yeah, that they they know a hack whenever yeah. they, they know a hack whenever they see it. Yeah. The, the the bigger cities, you might can blend in a little bit more because. Most people in big cities are fake. You know, yeah. they're they're two faced people. But around here in the country, I mean, you got some real genuine people, and they know whenever you're BSing. So I and also I, like I say, like playing to your crowd too. Like I can't see y'all doing me, me and y'all both. We can't do a gig in church, you know? <laughs> but, 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 right. we, but we can go out to a bar. I get, also, I get. I just think it's art. Important for artists to play oh, we for could. their own people. <laughs> we could, yeah, but because <laughs> like I've tried to do like anything's possible. I, I tried to do like the whole Jerry. We put a man on the moon. Be clean, uh, you know, but like it just it was it. it. <laughs> no, that was, yeah, I yeah. shouldn't have said that. Uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> I don't know if that's gonna pick up or not. That was, that was it. That was good. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. I, I missed it. Uh, he, said, said, he said something about uh, playing a gig in church. It's possible. He said, we put a man on the moon. And I looked at him and said, or fake. And he said, shut up. <laughs> yeah. Or. No, we're not going there. We're not going there. It's not talking about Button mouth. <laughs> hey, I, I like a good conspiracy theory. Oh, we, we can get into the conspiracy theories. I don't mind it at all. Let's, let's not. <laughs> let's not go there. <laughs> but man, Jay has to be at work at 10.30. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that is a good. Oh yeah, my phone's off. I was gonna that, check. That, that is a good one. <laughs> <laughs> but but I, 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 who, who knows, man? Who knows? I, who knows? Even then, I, I just don't think they had like that great of special effects back in the day. Probably not. But who knows? Yeah. <laughs> who knows, man? Like any, I just don't put anything past possibility yeah. anymore. Either in way, this world. Yeah. 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 Like the more that I learn about life and the world and space and just the universe in general, to yeah. me everything's on the table like nothing's out of the realm of possibility 100 for me i mean like I, I some people act like they got it all figured out and good for them for like, sure that I, is yeah. I, I wish i could be that ignorant you know but i just know that like we don't know what's going on anything can be going on right now who knows man that's true Always true, and probably is. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, like we've kind of learned, we've, we've kind of learned in the past few years, you know, like, st like stuff that this happened recently. If you would have said this ten years ago, people would have looked at you like yeah. you're crazy. You know, they're like, oh, there ain't no way that's There's possible. There's stuff that if you would have said three months ago on this podcast, you would have got. Uh, in big trouble. Oh yeah, and uh, and now you and now okay, never yeah, mind. No, 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 let's no, let's no, talk no, about no, something else. No, 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 I'm saying like, like I just don't see like why people don't you know like think a little bit more openly 
what not because like i used yeah. to be like one of those closed-minded people back in the day too and here just the last few years how some of the social stuff media is, causes an echo chamber oh to where man, you, can, yeah. you can only follow people that believe what you believe and then instead of trying to be open-minded right. You just reconfirm what you already think, so then it makes you more strongly about it. Yeah, and then a lot of people. Here's another. Uh, uh, nobody actually gives. Nobody actually cares about your opinion. Nobody actually cares. Yeah. So like you trying to like tell some like like you're you're going on this crusade. Nobody nobody actually cares. So if you could just yeah. figure that out, the world would be so much better. Yeah. Yes. And no Amen. one. <laughs> no. Nobody's saving the world. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? It is what it is. And if every conspiracy theory that we've ever talked about is true, it still really don't matter. <laughs> I, I love how somebody will post a status on Facebook and think that like they done it. Like yeah. Exactly. Like, I gave it, my opinion. Uh, yeah. Yes. Everything's going to change. Like. Man. I gave my opinion. I'm feeding these starving African kids, and I'm into <laughs> slavery yeah. in other countries. And it's like, no, you're not. Shut up. Like, because no. they're not. Who are you? Yeah, who cares? You're not going <laughs> to win. What you post, yes. Yeah. Like, that's the thing, man. Like, you're not going to win. Like, the, the powers that be, they're, they're just going to keep doing what they're doing. They're <laughs> yeah. good. You know, I mean, like, I, I know that y'all didn't want to dive into it, but just like, <laughs> but just like the Epstein thing. You know, like, oh. that, that's. <laughs> That should have been the biggest news in the history yes. of news. I mean, like the what are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, the, the, the guy that uh, uh, killed himself, uh, uh, Jeffrey Dahmer. <laughs> I, I mean, really? Yeah. Like, like He's I mean, a terrible man. Like I, I used to be like a, one of those guys that like was just that. That's that's where I lost like all my hope. You know, like whenever that happened and it was yeah. just kind of pushed under the rug. And nowadays, like people don't even remember his full name, probably. No, no they don't yeah. even know. They, they wouldn't even know uh, what that is. And then, like, people don't know, like, uh, like who Julian Assange is or like uh, at, at the Edwin Stoughton guy. And then, huh. but like, if you felt, you know, I just felt that way for like, like the last 15 years of my life. So it's not, you're saying like the Jeffrey Epstein thing was like, oh, they actually, this is 100%. This is real. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. Like, I mean, like, I just thought it was real before that. Like, oh, yeah, wow. I, I did too. But, like, oh, just 95% of the general public can't I got believe you. it. But like, see, it, it happened and still, guess what happened? Nothing. Nobody still cares. Exactly. And, so. and that's where I lost all hope. I'm like, yeah. nobody cares. Like, they're going to win. Yeah. Don't, like, I, I got buddies that really go down the rabbit hole with conspiracy theories. And I'm, and that's just it's unhealthy. After it all. is. I, I, I yeah, used to do that. Man. For you. I used to do that, and then you get to a point of it's like people have to do their own research, man. And I, I just don't know that they're ever going to do it. I, I used to, <laughs> I, when <laughs> I was know? 19, I would uh, like go to sleep drunk, listening to Alex Jones at like 3:30 in the morning. Like wake up, just like. <laughs> <laughs> But, uh, I've done that a few times, like <laughs> watching Alex Jones on my phone, and like woke up and he's like screaming about God knows what, and I just turned my phone off and threw it across the room, and I'm like, yeah. I'm mad. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, who would have thought that like Alex Jones would be right? Was well, uh, some stuff, some stuff. I mean, he's a smart guy. Like he just jumps to conclusions. And he's like, the frogs are gay. Yeah. Or, uh, and he's, like, and it's yeah. like, dude, like just. That, that was out. just Take a, a, that, no, no, I, I feel no, like I see this a lot I don't want to talk true. about it I feel like I'm defending yeah, that, that was that was taken out of context that was yeah like that was taken stunt. very out of context it's like if you say alright no. uh, yeah. you know actually yeah. explain it I, I don't know I'm just getting but into just that like, later but like, like who um, really would have thought you know like I'm the Epstein thing that w that was pretty crazy. The Prince and did y'all see the Prince Andrew video of I his? Did. No, I haven't. But Prince Andrew was connected to the whole Epstein thing, and oh, the, and uh, oh, see, like, I, 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 I guess that. like the royal family was just so used to like softball questions, like, oh, I'm royalty. They're going to ask me the questions that I approved. And then I'm going to go back to my mansion and live right. in my <laughs> yeah. But this one woman came in to interview him, and buddy. She did not hold back. She asked him about everything. About that girl. <laughs> yeah, about the girl and just his whole involvement and everything. And just like you can see just <laughs> like. The good thing of that came from that, though, is uh, he served justice and now he's in trouble. Yeah, well, but even then he's like still I'm, locked. I'm being sarcastic. Well, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, but the, like he, I mean, he still hasn't came out of the uh, the royal palace yet. He's he, not going to. Bro. He's been locked up in he's, there ever he's since. Not locked up. 
Yeah, well, well you know, he's, he's locked himself in there yeah. ever since. Yeah. Yeah. And, yeah, and like the the girl that was like the runner, like what's happened with that? Where do you ever even see a story about her? Uh uh-uh. oh! Wait, you were talking about the one that like the whistleblower, no, the, the slang girl, like the one that was like supposed to be like really running the operation. Oh yeah, the, the, they're going yeah. to be having her trial coming up here in a few months or I'm something. I'm sure like it'll that. be very public. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. All over Fox and CNN. Well, I mean, you, you still hardly ever hear her. anything about her. You know. Right. I mean, who knows, man? But it, it's just that right there should have been the biggest news out of the yeah. entire history of news. Uh-huh. And you never heard anything about it. Do you remember like when the Penn State thing happened and it was on ESPN for like two days and then never talked about ever? Yeah. 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 It's I mean, weird, I know. I mean, the only reason, yeah. as soon as you said that, the only reason I remember it is because South Park, honestly. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> <laughs> and the I thing about so uh, Epstein here, too, man, it's like uh, the journalist who did try to make that big news and all that they all they all got ostracized yep. you know on that note let's switch subjects. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I, I mean but really like i i just nothing's ever going to happen i hope no. it does but it's, it's never going to happen live your life be good to your neighbor man. And, and that's the thing man i mean like why worry about all this stuff that exactly. is out of your control exactly yeah yeah so many people think that they can save the planet. You're not going to. No. And even then, no. like, Mother Earth is good. Like, like we <laughs> yeah. can try to kill it as much as we want to, but Yellowstone can blow up at any moment. Yeah. And yeah, we're all gone. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. I mean, like, and maybe that's what happens, you know? Like, you get so far civilized, and then a huge natural disaster yeah. happens, and boom, back to square one. Tool set at best. Learn to swim. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's true. Who knows? You're, uh, that, that's, I think you're probably right about what you just said. Who knows? Because none of this stuff, like, would be, like, I know this is, like, still, like, off of Graham Hancock and stuff, but, Love like, not, none of this stuff would be here 10, 000, uh, 50,000 years from now. Exactly. Like nothing. So like we could already have point that makes part I mean that makes perfect sense to me, dude. Like mm-hmm. you're saying like fifty thousand years ago an asteroid hit and then we could have had not saying we had planes and computers and all this stuff and like IOS and all these yeah. but it could have been something completely different. Could have been something yeah. completely different. But still a more advanced civilization than we make them out to be. I mean there's oh, yeah. places like a uh, Machu Picchu. You know that like they're they I think go go, go back like ten the big well, go, go back, I mean that's yeah. they still don't know how old that is and it, and it's uh, they guessed like ten thousand or something yeah, it was like 10 that ten to twelve but they said it could be twenty six yeah, yeah because like the, even then they got the uh, the Sphinx wrong like uh, that they didn't know how huh. to understand water erosion really good so they thought that the Sphinx was only like eight thousand years old and now that they're better understanding water erosion now they're putting that back at like fourteen thousand or fifteen thousand you can clearly see if a like a picture back from the sphinx that the head is like four times smaller than the body yeah, they think that they've done reconstruction on they it. They have, and then the Egyptologists say, no, th- this was exactly done. This, There's no right. way. And that's another thing, too, that like just really aggravates me is the people that have a control over history. Yeah. I mean, the winner yeah. writes the history books. 100%. Yeah, I, I'm so fascinated with, like, old ancient culture. And I, and I do think that, like, we there weren't they weren't cavemen. You know, like, Gebekli Tepe yeah. is a huge site. It's one of the oldest known civilizations in the world. And even it was like found under like a mountain of. They were probably cavemen at that time on the other side of the world. Maybe I don't say probably like I know like but like for that like for that area yes and then isn't there something like with like uh, infrared that they're like going through Brazil and like the rainforest and like now with these infrared images there's like freaking cities of like. You can clearly see all throughout the rainforest. Yeah. Oh, man. And, and, and they can't get to them because, you know, well, the, the rainforest yeah. is there. And But, I mean, who knows? Like, we have Gebekli Tepe, the oldest known civilization yeah. on Earth, For was right found now. in, like, 1995 <laughs> or something yeah. like that. I so that. recent. So recent. Less right around 20 years in the isn't one of the pyramids in mexico and the pyramid in giza like the same like uh they're not the same size but dimensionally yeah like they have like pie or something in them yeah they're like the same and they're like how the hell did 
somewhere from Egypt and wherever it is in Mexico get together and like do that. You yeah. Know what, what are I mean? the odds of like somebody like accidentally stumbling what is the on odds? that? What yeah. is the, what they what they're saying is they had like some two way completely to, different places uh, like. Travel. So far yeah. from, yeah. Well, I mean, like, even then, like, some of the, the, the uh, blocks that built the Great Pyramid was, uh, they came from, like, 500 miles away. Yeah. yeah. You're yeah. talking about a ton of brick that weighed literally tons. I've heard the best, tons. the best theory I've ever heard that I'm like, of course that's how they did it. <laughs> They're poured. <laughs> They're what? They're poured. How did they get it so level, and how did everything, they figured out a way to pour it. How could they pour it, though? Ex- who knows, like but that's how they done it. Huh. I don't know, man. Because how did they get it? Because they're like, oh, you can't slide a piece of paper in there. Yeah, but, but if you poured it and let them sit there and sit on top of each other, and they, they I don't know how they done it, but how much sense does that make, though? I can't get behind that, man. I think that makes sense. I, can't get behind <laughs> but, dude, like, like, I mean, I don't know. The Great Pyramids are ridiculously tall. Oh, like, yeah. They, they are Humongous. That's why I'm saying, how did but, they get the blocks up there? Yeah, well, like, how, but how could they pour all the way up there? Is what well, I'm you would have like, like, like you would have like you would have like guess. you'd have big wooden molds, and like you take the mold up there, and then carry the mix or whatever you know whatever it was, and then you'd pour it in the mold, and then it would be easier than like dragging the huge block that's mm. already made up there. And then the thing that made me think about it was how they're so level, dude. Because, like, if it was a water base, or if it water base, if it was some sort of liquid, then, like, naturally you pour it and, like, the natural earth is going to level it out. You know what I mean? That makes Maybe. a lot of sense to me. I literally only heard this theory like six months ago, and I've like been interested in this my whole life. And I was like, man, as soon as I heard that, I was like, them, they figure out how to freaking do it like that. Maybe, but maybe, man. like you're maybe. saying, nobody knows. They say the ramp to build to get the blocks up there would have been more blocks than the Great Pyramid. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. They, they done like the actual mathematics of it. Yeah. I mean, it's huge. Like, like yeah, it was way bigger than yeah, the big, yeah. Pyramid. Yeah. So, so, like, how are you going to drag them? You're saying about how tall it is. That's why I'm saying that makes perfect sense because yeah. you could you could take the mold up piece by piece you could take bags of the stuff piece by piece then pour it let it set how's everything so level and perfect well when it sets like that yeah i who knows man anything's possible but even then like that's why i like the the idea of like ancient civilizations being far more advanced than we made them out to be yeah and i mean like even if the great pyramids are fifteen thousand years old or however old they think it is nowadays Think of how far we've came in less than a hundred years. Exactly. You know, I mean, like back in 1921, the biggest thing they had going for them is like the early stages of the automobile, which probably went like yeah. 20, 30 miles an hour. Yeah. And, and just like 30, 40 years after that, they were putting a man on the moon. Yeah. You know, I, mean, I imagine how much progression they made thousands of years ago. A million percent. Yeah, and then like we were talking earlier, well, and also in Egypt they did find these uh, these jewels found in uh, mummy tombs that were like, like this like a green jewel, and the only thing that that can come from is an asteroid impact. So they're thinking oh. that like maybe there was a natural disaster that took place back then, and just people had to start from scratch. Right. That's why you had these great civilizations like. Uh, Machu Picchu and Gebekli Tepe and the Great. You're pyramids. saying like Egypt's where they started over at. Well, maybe like Egypt happened, and then yeah, and then, then something clean. happened. Because the building of the pyramids, the older ones are better than the new ones. So they know that like back in the day, like there's a period that was lost of like how to build pyramids. Because in Egypt, the older pyramids are the ones that are actually stayed up and are structurally sound. The ones in the older kingdom, they tried to mimic and like go back and 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 like build. To 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 mimic the the yeah. Great Pyramids, they only like stood for like two hundred years and then flew because they didn't know how to build them anymore. Did you know no, that? No, I didn't know yeah, that. Yeah, so all like yeah. the 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 Great Pyramids are from the oldest. How does that make any freaking sense? How is the best pyramids from the start of the civilization? That makes no sense. Yeah, 
I mean, like, and that's what I love about like ancient histories because we'll never know. You we know, will it, never know. It's a forever guessing game. But I mean, who knows? They might have had some stuff figured out. Maybe it was aliens. How who did knows, they man? pour? Well, Roman concrete, all the Pantheon, and all that stuff is still standing for two thousand years, and we don't know how to make that. So who's to say that they didn't find a what? Just like, oh no, it's it's got to be limestone. Well, they could have figured out a way to pour the line. They you don't know. Yeah. You don't know yeah, because yeah. they can't do the Roman concrete because. Uh, if they could, then we would do. Then you would obviously use that mixture because it don't go bad. So, yeah. I, who knows, man? Like, I just I can't wait for the time machine. That's what I'm looking for. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> backwards or forwards? I'm going backwards. <laughs> yeah, yeah, me too. Wait, me too. I'm scared to go forward. I'm scared yeah. to go forward. Well, forward they could really do with like a with speed, but you're talking about like backwards. I don't know if they know they can do that. Yeah, well, well even with forward, like, well, yeah, because they done that one experiment with the plane. Like this one guy flew really fast, and they like he had to watch, and somebody on the ground had to watch. And whenever he came back down, his watch was, like, faster yeah. than the wow. guy on the ground. But you can put, oh, like, yeah, some sort wild. of orb on the outside, like, the earth, and, like, speed it up to where you're going, like, I don't know how they would figure that out. But, like, if you could get to, like, close to the speed of light going around the earth for, like, yeah. 20 minutes and then come back down, you'd be, like, 500 years in the future. That's crazy. Yeah. Who knows, man. man? Like, I mean, like that. They're onto some really wild stuff. Like, have y'all seen the UFO videos that they're talking about? Yeah, now? like all the like the Roswell stuff coming out later this year. Well, yeah, like like all the stuff that the Navy uh, released that the that the Pentagon. Yeah, has I know what you're talking about. Yeah. See, like now they're like I don't believe that's aliens. Let me go ahead and say that first and foremost. Maybe I mean anything's possible, but more than likely, in my personal opinion, I think that it's just really advanced technology. That we just don't know yeah. about. Because you see that uh, that UFO well, if it's, or whatever. If it's been promoted on the news, the I would I would I would I would I would venture to say that it, that you're right. But, 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 <laughs> yeah. but I mean, like, if, this, <laughs> if it is real technology, they're getting pretty dang close. Because there's this one yeah. part where one of the UFOs. Well, now they call them. Uh, I forget what they call them. But, yeah, it's not UFOs but, anymore. Yeah, the, I forget. It's something dumb. Yeah, like aerial something, a, APV like, yeah. something. Unidentified aerial something. I don't know. Phenom- Maybe Alex can help us out. UAP. Thank yeah. you. Okay. <laughs> Love you, Alex. But th- there's this one video where one of these crafts go from 80,000 feet to like a foot above sea level, like that. Like oh, yeah. Like, it don't yeah, even like, regi- it, like it's not even a time it's, register. It's no, instant. it's just like instantly, like in the blink of an eye, it can descend at 79,000 yeah. feet in the, and, and just stop, like instantly stop right above water. And then like whenever one of the Commander Fravor, one of the pilots, whenever he was going after the thing, like it disappeared right in front of him. And he didn't know where it went to. Well, he was in uh, like he was in communications with a warship that was about sixty miles away from them. And as soon as it disappeared in front of his eyes, the warship put, picked it up on their radar, oh. sixty miles out, mm. and like that instantly. Shh. I mean, like so. I mean, if if that is technology that they have nowadays. They're on to some pretty crazy stuff. <laughs> if, yeah. if, that, if that's true and that wasn't a computer thing, then time travel, I guess, I'm obviously not a scientist. Uh, time travel might be part, then they're messing with gravity somehow. Yeah. And if you're messing yeah. with gravity, then you could, I guess, go backwards in time. Well, even Einstein. He's going to think I'm so, such an idiot. But but see, that that's that's the thing, man. Like, if, well, we can be having this conversation right now and people are like, oh, what are they talking about? They're stupid. But 20, 30 years from now, that might be the thing. Yeah. You know, like how we were talking about earlier, how some of the stuff that's going on nowadays, if you would have said this 20 years ago, people would have put you in a nut house. Yeah. Nowadays, it's being proven that's what the facts are. Right. And, yeah. th- and this could be very well with the technology that they're talking about. I just like, I'm, I'm fascinated, but I'm also terrified. I mean, like, who knows? But there's going to be this one scientist that there's the button to create the black hole. You know, and they're and somebody's going to press it. Yeah. You know, and yeah. who knows what they're going to do? I mean, that they might just be like messing with stuff that we probably shouldn't be messing with. Like gravity, I'd be terrified to mess with gravity. Oh yeah. Yeah. And, but I mean, who knows? Deadly that? diseases would be one. I would be. Oh wait. <laughs> <laughs> An, another oh. conspiracy theory. <laughs> no, but, let's mess with those stuff. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, like, really, man, who knows? And like. I, that's what I think that those UFOs are is just crazy technology. But if they have technology to go that fast, 
imagine what they do have and they're not telling yeah. us about. You know, who knows? Yeah, my uncle uh, was an engi- was a mechanic on SR seventy one. My great uncle, great shoot, my great great no, my great uncle. And he worked on the SR seventy one Blackbird, which is a surveillance plane. Yeah, my uh, my dad was in the military. He worked the, on one of them too. in the fifties, right when it came out. It came out like in I think like fifty during the Korean War. Yeah, I think he didn't. If he would have told he he might have told his wife, but until like nineteen ninety one or ninety two, if he would have told anybody, like he's like in jail for treason or something. Yeah. So like, and that's a forty year span. Yeah, they have to swear to secrecy. And then I went to a naval museum, and this guy said in the Korean War they had these cameras that could read newspapers from forty thousand feet. Yeah, yeah. But uh, and and see, that's the uh, I forget what my dad calls it. He was in weapon development, yeah. and that they have patents on certain technologies that won't be released to the public after so many years. GPS systems were that way. I think uh, super glue. Was, yeah. was that way like because they, they made they made that yeah, like for, for, wounds, for yeah. if it, yeah. like wounds in the field you didn't need stitches you could just zip up yeah but, it, but even then that was just a military thing for years mm-hmm. like people w- weren't allowed to know what super glue was you know so imagine what they I mean, my yeah, well, dad, they my, do have patented yeah yeah and my, my dad he worked on one of the blackbirds and he was the same way he had to swear to secrecy but I mean like he said like watching one of those things take off it was like watching a UFO oh for sure and back then could you imagine actually seeing one of them well you never <coughs> you wouldn't have got close enough to see it but like the B uh, the B the big bombers and stuff like where they fly like that you would definitely think that yeah I mean like use like planes just like slowly go up like that they said the blackbird just boom straight yeah. up just like instant God, I mean I mean I feel like still to this day if I were to see that in person I'd be like oh <laughs> yeah. well, even then like I mean like people were seeing those things and like they were like people were talking about like it was a UFO and the government wasn't saying anything and then like you said finally in the 90s they came out and said it yeah. and even to this day I don't think that they'll say how fast they go they'll just say like in excess of Mach 4 I or think five. the reason they oh s- man I think which like the speed of sound. I think the reason they said that is they've never had one turned up all the way. But I could be wrong about that because the heat the heat gets so extreme on the the outer side. Like the reason like they had to develop special paint just for the body of that because it got the it would get so hot on the outside of it. This is what Google says, and I don't trust Google. Okay. But <laughs> they say 2,193 miles an hour. 777. Seven, seven. So what is that, Mach 2.5? I don't know. I'm not that smart. But, I mean, this. See, see what Mach it goes. Mach 3, Mach 2.8. They spell Mach. M A C H. M A C H. Blackbird. Do, do, do. I'm such a slow typer, man. I was Mark. never good in a... Uh, I'm going to say 2.8. How you supposed to mock M-A-C-H. M-A-C-H. Speed, there it is. Dude. Mach 3.2. Go! Which, which, which is more than 2,000 miles an hour. Yeah, three, 3.2 times the speed of sound. They yeah. have an unrefueled range of more than 2,000 miles. Wow. And they can fly at altitudes of over eighty five thousand feet. I watched a video. I watched a video. I swear I could be wrong of a guy doing it, and he said the reason they don't put the speed on there is because it could go faster. But the the plane, the heat it like expands the bot. Like though, okay, all those panels are like made like interlocking on each other. So whenever it starts going that fast, it, the plane actually expands. And the panels are made to like take that expansion with it, and then they come back down. Yeah, dude, it's cra- it's it, well, it's e- crazy. Even this, like even today, it's still uh, what they're telling us: the fastest plane in the world. There's well, no reason to make one faster because of satellites now. It's basically what is that it, makes sense? Yeah, yeah. And then a jet fighter, uh, if you're going faster than a bullet can go, what's you don't you'd run into your own bullets if you showed them. Dang, I oh, like yeah, about yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. 
point. I didn't point. think about that. Yeah. So the, like, there's no reason, like dog, like that, all that, like dog fighting and all that stuff. That's not, that's not yeah. going to ever well, be a it, thing. It, well, even nowadays, like it's mostly drone. You know, mm-hmm. like, like yeah. a million percent. Yeah. Why would you put a human? Why would you risk a life up there yeah, doing that when to, you can yeah. do it? That yeah. would make no sense. Well, yeah. then you got to pay the family's money. Government tank. You're really. spending twenty billion on a plane out there. <laughs> I think the the Raptors are like a billion a piece. F twenty twos. Yeah, mm. that's what our tax dollars are going to. Yeah, but uh, go uh, 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 it is elite. The, uh, uh, the United States are the only uh, people allowed to have uh, F twenty twos. So mm. no, they give everybody else F eighteens and F sixteens and like. Uh, yeah, like uh, you know, they give. They're like, oh, Israel's got all these. Pla-. We have the only fleet of Raptors, and like nothing can even. But we it, could literally take out the whole entire. Well, I don't want to talk. But, well, you could take but, out the whole airspace military with twenty of these mother effing things. But I, but I mean, like, but who knows what other countries are working on too? Because nothing like, like that. I, I don't <laughs> maybe, know, maybe, but maybe. I'm just saying, like, uh, you saying about like trusting, uh, not trusting things. So like uh, if the if the media is talking about how p- powerful China is and they're the, like the new enemy, we're saying so their economy's better than ours, their government's better than us, everything's better than us. Okay, like the media is pressing that. So like I think that that's not true because you see what I'm saying? Yeah, well, though? well, well not, not even like more like China. <laughs> I'm more worried about people like Russia. Or like even like even yeah. like see like Germany blew my mind. They aren't as powerful as they used to be. But back yeah. in World War Two, they were way more advanced with aero like with aerospace tech. Well, not aerospace, but like aero technology than we were. And like I just don't get how they. I think just well because the United States for that twenty year period during the wars wasn't worried about designing weapons and instead of yeah. what we should have done as soon as they took over marched into a country we should have sent our army over then we let them take over half yeah. the Europe and Hitler yeah. almost took over Europe it was so bad oh my god how long How long from the time okay D-Day was 1940 uh, when, when did we land on Normandy I th- June 6, 1944 when was the war over a year after that, so there, yeah. there's not really, a, you know. I, I honestly, I think a lot of it is. Boys, I would love to keep talking, but this man's got to get to work. So I know y'all got some shows coming up. Tell the folks what you got going on, where they can find all your music, all that good stuff. Okay, July 10th, Buffalo Wild Wings. When's Clarissa's again? Clarissa's is right July now. 28th or 23rd. Uh, you can get all of our information on Facebook, Instagram, the Moon Dogs. Our our uh, next big show is definitely B Dubs. They're trying to uh, Dubs July tenth, and then Moon Dogs at Clarissa's Friday, July twenty third. Uh, Friday, July twenty third at Clarissa's. We'll be playing at Summit City again soon, and uh, we'll be playing at uh, La- uh, Main Street uh, down in Popwell in September. September seventeenth. September seventeenth. Uh, Facebook and Instagram would really help us out. Uh, Buffalo Wild Wings is trying to get started with like a music, uh, you know, whatever you want to call it, scene, yeah. getting people started. We're going to be there. My buddy Johnny Pop Day will be there soon, I think. And we're going to uh, try to get it going. So July 10th, if you can come out, we'd appreciate it. Man, I, I'm so happy to see all y'all having the shows that y'all are doing, the success that y'all got going on, because, man, I'm such a big fan of y'all's music. Yes, oh, sir. Thank you, man. So, so it's good to see all this good stuff happening for y'all. I'm a big Appreciate fan of what it. you do as well, man. Sat you for sure. You're, you're yeah, a you're gentleman awesome. and a scholar, my friend. Y'all, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you are. Ladies and gentlemen, Walsh Moon Dog. Thank you. <laughs> see you next week, folks. Boom. There we go. Killer, man. Simple as